And hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and I'm here with another box for a roller box. This is the first time you've ever seen me open one of these boxes. Scroller box is an art subscription box, so that means that this little box, look how cute it is, inside is a wonderful world of art supplies that you probably have seen before or you haven't seen before or you've heard before and you've always wanted to try these art supplies. Now's your chance to do it through the one and only scroller box. So let's go ahead and open this up. It's always so difficult to do. Ah! Oh, I'm sorry, I stabbed my pork. <laughs> what is this? Look at, we've got a little cute pig. Look at oh, okay. So first, this is what it looks like inside. See, nice and neat. Everything's in an orderly fashion. No pencil sharpener. A scroller box sends me two things. We've got this nice, beautiful art print of this. Pretty sure it's an eagle. Um, we've got this awesome print of an eagle. And then we have a wonderful handy dandy bookmark. And on this bookmark, it's really nice because they list off all of the art supplies that are in this particular box. Look who's in the video for the bad boy. For the bad boy. Are we here for the video? <gasps> yes, we're going to be in the video. Yes, we did. We're going to be in the video. So first of all, this is an art line pencil case. Look how cool this is. And it's like, ah, this is awesome. <gasps> Ta-da! Art line. Ooh. And then we have six fine art pencils by Derwin. So let's go ahead and open these up and take a look at these pencils. So you see, we've got all these amazing looking, uh, we've got different colors. We've got like green, black, some blues, a gray, a white, like doing this now, now that I have it, I'll just go ahead and put these in here. All right, yes. And then we have a mapped expert eraser. Ooh. All right, look at how abnormal this eraser is because hey, it's like an X and that's why it's called. Um, a matte white peppers? peps, <laughs> white peps. <laughs> and we have a little itty bitty sharpener. Look how adorable that is. Scrawler box is always so nice to send me a couple pieces of paper to try stuff out on. And if I want to do da da da, the scrawler challenge on these pieces of paper. Now, the thing about the scrawler challenge is it's on the back of your bookmark. It is my favorite thing about scrawler box because it comes with a challenge where you have to take their drawing prompt and only use the art supplies you were given in this month's box to draw what they have on the back of their bookmark, which is the scrawler challenge. This month's scrawler challenge happens to be take flight. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about what I picked for take flight. Now, when I think about taking flight, I think of winged animals, of course. Uh, I mean, we got a print of the eagle in the box, but I was thinking of a pegasus taking flight. And then I thought of something funny like, when pigs fly, you know the expression when people are saying that's absolutely impossible and it's like, when pigs fly. So I thought it would be cute to create these two storybook characters where you have this pegasus and then this little pig that has wings. And I remember I used to have an actual um, statue that was outside. It was a yard ornament and it was a flying pig, but he had very small wings on his ginormous fat round body. So I just, I don't know, I felt like this could either be like <laughs> this little guy pig in love with this big gorgeous pegasus girl, I, I don't know, I just, that's what I was, I was feeling for the story. Now let's talk about these pencils and why they are interesting. It's that they are very similar to watercolor pencils. Now I've done several watercolor pencil tutorials before on my channel. The thing about watercolor pencils is you go ahead and you color what you're coloring. And then like when I say you color what you're coloring, you go ahead and you add every single color, like what you're going to shade with and what you're going to, what are you gonna leave open for highlights? You basically want to get your shadows done first and then your overall color and then that's when you go in with your water and you go ahead and you go over where you made your marks with your watercolor pencils where you already colored in and then you just smooth it out with your brush. Now the thing that I really liked about these pencils, the Derwent Graphitint pencils, is that in regular watercolor pencils I always have trouble with layering. 
because they just don't dry fast enough and they just never do what I want them to do when it comes to putting on a second layer. So usually when it comes to watercolor pencils, I go in and bring in my palette for that second layer and then go over what I already made that first layer with watercolor pencils. I always use watercolor pencils for really quick doodles that I just want to throw a little bit of color on and give that watercolor texture to it, that look of watercolor on it just to make it look more special. But the thing about these Graphitent Derwin pencils is that I could have actually went over and I was adding layers and layers with these and I really wasn't having that big of a problem at all. I was super surprised that I was being able to go ahead and put layers on with these so well and I just wasn't expecting that. It, they're different kind of watercolor pencils and I think these are more legit than with the watercolor pencils I've worked with in the past. I just thought overall that this color was really smooth and when you look at it, it just, it looks like a bit of a storybook character. Now I went ahead and I used my Illo sketchbook for this. I wasn't gonna, I didn't really like the paper that came with Scrawler Box because it was just when you work with watercolor, once I looked into the, saw that these were watercolor pencils, um, I don't really like using the wrong paper for watercolor because if you use the wrong paper then it gets all clumpy and then it, it starts ripping up the paper and I just don't like using inappropriate paper for watercolor so my illo sketchbook is awesome with watercolor paper so I pulled that out and I went ahead and opened it up and I just took up two pages of my sketchbook and plus I really just love filling up my illo with all kinds of sketches especially watercolor sketches they're a lot of fun and let me tell you, the sharpener that Scrawler Box sent with this month's box is super legit. You saw how tiny that little thing is. My goodness, I was getting some sharp points. Oh my goodness, that thing is legit. And so is the eraser. The eraser was super cool and it was taking up everything. You saw I erased at the beginning using the mapped eraser and it's good. I just love every single eraser that Scrawler Box sends to me because it's almost like a magical eraser that can pick up any crazy, really dark marks, which is really cool to have a good eraser that is ready to come in and save the day. <laughs> and why I made my pig green I don't know. I just, I didn't have a pink color and I didn't want to make him purple. It's okay. It's storybook characters. Who knows? He's a, he, okay. He has wings in the first place. I wanted to make him green. And I also wanted to show off the Graphitint green pencil. I had to use it somewhere in there, but I loved that purple pencil. And I loved the shadow, the midnight shadow pencil. Such good colors. And <laughs> I just love my green pig. <laughs> Now, if you would like to buy your own Scrawler Box, I'm going to leave in the link down below how you can purchase your own Scrawler Box subscription, as well as right here at the bottom of the screen. I hope you will go and you'll check out Scrawler Box so you can join me in receiving all these amazing art supplies. Also, in participating in the Scrawler Challenge. So much fun. Just get some creative juices of follow it. Thank you, Scrawler Box, for sending me yet a wonderful box of goodies. Love you guys. I hope you guys all have a most wonderful day and I will see you all later. Bye! I'm waving with both hands. I'm crazy. I'm gonna wave this one. No, I'm gonna wave this one. Do, 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 do.